What's up everybody? Here's a common concern of people that may be getting into mids and highs for the first time or maybe they've been into a while and they just still don't really know. We're going to talk about compression drivers, the difference between titanium and phenolic, and the difference between a neodymium driver and a ferrite driver. The biggest difference that you're going to see here is, of course, the size. The neodymium driver is about four and three quarter, a little less. The ferrite driver is about seven inches. That's eh, less than that, six and a half inches. So the size is a big issue here. Also, with the smaller size comes less weight on the neodymium. So what is the difference between these two magnets? Well, first of all, neodymium magnets are much stronger than ferrite. This is why you're able to have the same driver. For example, this one here is a D3220Ti and the D3220Ti. This one is the neodymium version, so this has the ND at the end of the part number, 3220Ti ND. But they have the same power handling, 110 watts RMS, 220 program, 110 RMS 220 program. Normally people say, ah, but this one has a huge magnet and it must be so much more powerful. This one must be weak. But the difference is that even though this one is smaller, it is just as powerful as this ferrite magnet of a larger size. So the size is one thing is different. The strength is another. The Neo is stronger. You know, for this size, it's, it's the same strength as this so i'm not saying that this driver is stronger than this the actual material itself is stronger than ferrite so that's the one of the biggest difference is the size the weight of course but the price this thing here is uh, about 110 dollars and this one is 160 dollars somewhere around there you want to use this if you have the space for it and i will show you how it's easy to install this one versus this one. When you have a ferrite driver and you're trying to put a waveguide on, there's no way you're going to install this in one piece. You have to separate it. You have to put the driver behind where you're mounting. Come in the front with the waveguide and then attach it from the back. As you can see, it's bulky, it's difficult, it's heavy. So there are benefits to the neodymium. When you have the neodymium driver, you simply put the waveguide on and pass it through the hole. It's that simple, you don't need to separate it. Now let's talk about what you really came here for. The difference between the phenolic driver and the titanium driver. First thing I'm gonna do is pop these covers off so we can take a look at the diaphragms inside. To remove these covers, it's a three millimeter Allen. This is just unscrews here. <laughs> the screws will stick to the magnet. This neodymium magnet is uh, very strong. Anything that you have near it will just get sucked onto it. It's very hard to remove, like it's very strong. Be careful you don't put them too close to one another because they will be difficult to separate. The first thing you're gonna notice is the difference in color. Do you know which one is which? This one is the phenolic driver. A phenolic diaphragm is uh, basically a fabric diaphragm with a resin impregnated into it. And this of course is titanium. So what is one used for? What is the other used for? The titanium is used more for higher frequencies. This driver here you can run from about 1000 Hertz up to 16,000 Hertz. You can use this without a tweeter. 
the phenolic you can run down depending on power you're putting on this driver you're putting the full power you want to run this 800 750 900 depending on the power and you run this depending on what else you're using in your system you can run it up to 6,000 hertz 7,000 hertz where a tweeter would come in if you're using in combination with the compression driver titanium compression driver one inch two inch that can go down to the lower frequencies you don't need to run this that high you can run this to about 4,000 6,000 and there it'll give you stronger vocals without trying to do the higher frequencies that the other components are going to do for it now these are the same driver 3220 however these diaphragms are not interchangeable if you notice the titanium gap is much tighter than the phenolic gap this will not fit in a titanium driver this will not fit in a phenolic driver so if you have one you're trying to switch over you're just going to need to get another one because it will not fit so it's very simple to change the diaphragm in these it just drops in comes out and drops in just line up the marks here and put the cover on that about sums it up I hope you guys learned something today the difference between neodymium and ferrite compression drivers phenolic and titanium. If you have any other questions about these, just let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.